For question number 30, it says, if f of x equals 3x squared minus x, what is f of x minus 1? So what they mean by this is that instead of having x, wherever we had x, which would be x squared and x, you would plug in x minus 1. So let's see, originally we had f of x equals 3x squared minus x. However, they're asking for f of x minus 1. So as I said before, you would plug in x minus 1 wherever you would have had an x prior to that. So we had an x here being squared, so we would replace that x with x minus 1 and square that amount. And we had an x here, so I would replace that x with x minus 1. And then we would just carry out our normal operations. So since this is being squared, I'm going to multiply x minus 1 by x minus 1. And don't forget the rest of your equation, x minus 1. So I will multiply x times x. I will bring down my 3 first. Don't forget your 3. Now I can say x times x is x squared. And then I multiply x times negative 1 to give me negative x. And then I move on to my next term, negative 1, and multiply that by x as well to get another negative x. And then I will multiply negative 1 by negative 1 to get positive 1. And then I continue to bring my x minus 1. And then I rewrite my 3 and I combine like terms. So in this case, x squared is only one, a square we have. However, we have negative x and negative x that can be combined into negative 2x plus 1. Now in this case, we can use distributive property and distribute this negative to the x and to our negative 1 to make this, oh sorry, I didn't rewrite my 1, to make this pop, a negative x and a positive 1. So here we can combine even, we can, now we can distribute our 3 to all 3 terms inside our parentheses to have 3x squared minus, two, minus 3 times 2 is 6 and 3 times positive 1 is 3. And then we bring down our negative x and our positive 1. And then finally we can combine like terms negative 6x and negative x can combine and positive 3 and positive 1 can combine to give us a final answer of 3x squared minus 7x plus 4 which is why our answer was B.